Well, hello again. Give you a uh, few things real quick. Let it not be said that Curtis Hill is not a man who thinks sometimes. So I thought about one of the reasons why my message might be coming across a little bit erratic. And a lot of it is because I'm trying to hit a mon one minute mark instead of just recording the video and then splitting it up. You know, common sense sometimes, you know, the elephant in the room, if a snake would have bit me type thing. Secondly, it is uh, this, like, the only shit, all right? In last week, uh, culminating man for a whole year, but progressively worse, my emotions got out of control. My feelings are out of control. My actions are out of control. I am emotionally vulnerable to myself at times. Uh, deficiency right there, but it's not one that uh, you can help because you're not me, and vice versa. But hopefully, I've learned a lesson from that. And I think I did. That lesson being that, uh, calm the fuck down. Slow your ass down and chill. My health, emotional situation, which I gotta say, uh, I can point the fingers and I have as a petty ass little bitch ass dude. Um, but without owning my shit, uh, I have not grown anything then. Dude, I, look, I, was not being the man I was supposed to be from the beginning. I was shy with my heart. Not shy, but guarded, okay? Love does not want that from you. I mean, of course you're gonna, you know, use your eyeballs. But if you feeling something some somebody, give them a fucking shot. Give them a fair shot, you know? I mean, I'm not, I was yo-yoing. Yo, here fucking around, I got caught in my own net. And it's I just hold her. And by the time it comes around to being able to fix some shit, I already did so much damage, you see what I'm saying? Man, my um, friend, he, we're not really friends like that anymore. They kind of like thought I would do some horrible shit, which I get accused of a lot. Breaking character of who I say, not being who I say I am. But he knows that. He knows what it is. But I call him my friend still because friendships, just like love, should last even though sometimes friends don't. I, uh, he told me that we make our own monsters out of the women. And I guess it could be gender switch too. Yes, we do. The way we approach a relationship with our so-called honesty, you know, honesty extends beyond how your word is, is how you act and vice versa. You know, honestly, being judged honestly, it comes from honesty. You know, I have a tendency to talk down. I mean, I'm six foot two, so <laughs> no, seriously, I don't mean to do that. I never mean to sell anybody. But yes, our behavior patterns that influence how the relationship can go. Now, that does not mean that I am absolving her from guilt. No. I come in a little, a little bit more smarter than I did originally. Um, I would tell you, I'm 50 50 in it. Um, but I didn't believe that shit. You know, I'm here to say she's guilty. I have, <laughs> we all have our ways, all right? I can sit down and bash the shit out of me, but also, at the same time, I have a lot of great qualities. My loyalty is off the chain. I'm loyal forever. Somebody's loyal to me. I, I have a problem with that. If you know somebody that's talking about me, and you're my friend, and they think they can talk to you about me, and you ain't fucking me, you ain't saying shit, your loyalty is lacking, Captain. Nobody gonna tell me nothing like, they're gonna tell me in nice, calm tones, about some people I care about. That's loyalty. That's my team, my people, my love. Um, you, you give me some knowledge before you get to write blah, blah, blah. And my little brother, little brother, I almost, I almost went stupid and damaged my own character in order to try to sling a, sling a sting at you. Um, this is something we could talk about in a whole other time because you're not here to defend yourself either and that's not fair. But I don't really need somebody to tell me how to live my life, man. Because you're not Curtis Hill Jr. You're damn sure ain't been through any of the experiences I have, except for my youth. And I have not lived as you. And I'm sure you got a lot of shit and knowledge you gained from that. Why would you think that I don't? What you consider happiness is not the same as me. So you might, your happiness might rest in financials. I'm not saying it does, but it just might as an example. Mine is in the heart. You know, in the heart, man. If I, I could be rich and, and, you know, be hung up on a prostitute. See that? <laughs> you see what I said there? That was called some sneaky ass, sneak this and shit. I'm sorry. <laughs>
Sorry, sorry, sorry. Only human. <laughs> but no, seriously, um, we gotta get to know each other better, man. What works for you might work for you, but it doesn't have to work for me. I mean, come on, and it shouldn't. We can progress as people, as friends, as lovers through a consensus of opinions. That means we can agree to disagree, but at least we're taking in the knowledge. As soon as it happens mostly, and I'm still working on mine too, I'm not perfect. As soon as something happens that we disagree with, uh, you know, we roll up and immediately the conversation is cut off. Me, I ain't got, I got zero to 100. You know what I'm saying? That's probably what my, my hurt. I yell like a damn fool. And whatever meaningful kind of evolution that I could have had in this last relationship, I fucked that up by doing that too. See, that's called all of your shit, man. Look, I, I apologize. I ain't, I'm going to change. I don't know. I want to. Ultimately, I don't want to leave this place the same way I came here. I mean, it's tech physically impossible. I mean, I'm already as big as I was when I was a baby, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you probably don't know what I mean either, because my kind of corny. <laughs> See, look, y'all are bringing out the worst in me, man. No, no, it's not even that. It's not even that. It is me genuinely expressing myself and being happy. That is the key, man. I want you guys to know who I am. I wanted y'all to know who I am a long time ago. Didn't have the opportunity, man. You'd be surprised. But it's also equally me, you know. I withheld certain ways of talking and speaking the way I thought because I didn't, when I was younger, I had adverse reactions to it. You know, I, I, want, I want to fit in, cool. You know, I want to hang out with Charlie Brown and Snoopy. You know, I don't want to be dirty kid, but, you know, I was uh, kind of not the same apples and oranges joint, but, you know. Anyway, I'll talk to you later.